<laughs> I'm in a weird mood today. Hey what's up guys, welcome to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello my name is Lydia and I make mental health videos in here pretty much every day. Today I'm doing a Q&A slash assumption video. I asked everyone on Instagram and Twitter for some questions and you guys came through. <laughs> wow. This question. This question. Do you ever find you're ever narcissistic when it comes to filming? No. I don't think I am. Am I? Am I? I don't think I am. I am, I don't mean to come across like that. Do you ever sometimes enjoy the intention you get from your illnesses? No. Hate it. Because like, when you're walking down the street on a crutch and someone's like, why do you need that? It's like, that's the like, that feels like it's the only thing people ever notice about that. And it's like, oh, you're young, I'm sorry. Or you're struggling, I'm so sorry. You're ill, I'm so sorry. All you hear all the time is, I'm sorry. You know, yeah, it's unfortunate. But there's so much more to me than my illness. That's why I'm trying to make this channel show. Like, I know a lot of my life and a lot of my time goes into my health and working on my health and appointments and all of this. I know I said once that I enjoy. How's your day? Uh, well, here's a bit of a vlog. Hello. I'm just using this rug as a blanket. Oh, yeah, yeah. Until we put it on the floor. Oh, wow. You've got a nice background as well. Oh. Like, it actually looks well cool. Oh, does it? Do like, wedge. You have half a gift. Half a gift. No, open me first. It's another little mini self care box. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I love the foam stuff. Oh, oh, that's so you know, cute. We both like colouring. We do. And then that's the rest of the collection. Down to the collection. Just lots of little notes. Please remain seated and refrain from talking during measurement and keep cuff at the heart level. I need to learn where the heart is, don't I, really? Oh, shit, it's low. It's low, it's low, it's low, shit, it's just dropped like 50, 46, 45, 43, 41, 43. Your blood pressure is systolic, 64 millimeter of mercury, diastolic, 39 millimeter of mercury. Your pulse was 102. Hey, who knew that? That's how many years. <laughs> more assumptions. We have some assumptions, guys. Assumptions! Care more about your friends than you do yourself. Yep. You can't go into uni due to mental health and so you'll have to drop out. No. My university are very understanding. Uh, the fact that I have very intense anxiety and other mental health issues. And because I have already done this year, I've did this degree, I am able to do the work from home. I've actually finished now until... January pretty much. I just need to film one more thing and then I'm done and I'll, I'll get it done. Like it's not due until January. I'm, I'm good. And then in January I am planning on going back into uni. I just need like this month to work on myself. Another question is what does a mental health nurse or practitioner do for a patient? It depends on the circumstances, the team, or what you're being treated for, your diagnosis, your medication. For me I am under the home treatment team at this current moment in time and I see a different person every time they come out. Um, they monitor overall stability and whether or not I'm taking my medication, how I am, whether I'm sleeping, whether I'm eating, how I'm showering, how I'm dealing with things. They just ask the basic questions questions and that's it for me. Under a community mental health team it's more of a longer term thing so they ask long term questions. Home treatment teams are short term and they are literally there for short term use. Do you have any chronic illnesses? So I'm diagnosed with arthritis. They are currently looking into POTS which is a tachycardia condition. Makes sense with a lot of what I go through and me and Becca was discussing something earlier that I, d I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to criteria for it or not. I'm going to mention it to my GP and then that'll become a 
struggling with but it is a chronic condition i have ongoing heart problems i used to have seizures as a kid i have damaged ligament in my ankle so i can't walk below like i said i have arthritis it, arthritis is horrible i won't wish it on anyone did you feel like you couldn't take your meds again after an overdose i couldn't after my i can't swallow capsules and i can't take paris anymore everything else i'm fine with um, i have a lot of anxiety around medication anyway so when i'm when i'm taking my medication i have anxiety about taking the medication because i'm scared of it getting stuck in my throat or something even though it would just dissolve that's why i can't take capsules after my last overdose honestly i couldn't take another one i haven't even spoke about the last overdose like because it happened while i was in hospital i'm just not ready to talk about that one but overall no it didn't really impact whether i could take meds or not are you planning any meet and greet in the future uh yeah uh i love meeting people despite all my anxiety and everything else i absolutely love love meeting people when i've traveled around the uk making friends with people that watch my videos like it's been incredible and i've made so many like lifelong friends from youtube so hell yeah i want to do meet and greets but i want to do i mean i couldn't do like a big meet and greet it'd have to be like four or five people at a time because otherwise i'd be having a fucking breakdown and uh, you're having a breakdown live um i don't know but yes i am uh probably in the new year now scroll 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 how are you do how do you balance mental health and uni i don't oh my god so a really bad thing that i do is i prioritize my studies over everything i always have i hate this thing about me i literally hate it. and if i could I could not do it i would give anything to not do it. i've prioritized my education above everything i always have I always at the moment i'm getting a first in uni and i don't even go in i'm getting a first in every assignment i've handed in but at the same time my mental health just declines because i get so preoccupied with uni that i'm like oh i'll just miss a dose uh, no, i'll just miss a dose of my medication because i don't want to sleep post to do my work or oh i'll just miss another dose because you know so wonder what withdrawal but, oh and then i just stop taking it and i my mental health just deteriorate. I have no skills at balancing my mental health when it comes to uni. Probably not the best one to go into advice for that. Hi, just a plan saying hello. Hello. Hello, Lord Cowles. Like your name. How have you been doing since leaving hospital? I've been doing really well, actually. Like, I've been doing... My, my sleep's a bit off and my anxiety is insane. I'm not as depressed as I was. Like, I'm not as... I'm not suicidal. That is that's the biggest difference. Apart from anywhere but here, if you live anywhere in the world, where would, you, where would it be? I would like to live in New Zealand. I think it is such an interesting country and I'd love to live there. So that's all the questions I can find for this video. Um, my camera's about to run out of storage anyway. So thank you for watching this video. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. If you have any video requests, leave them in the comments below. If you have anything you'd like to say, comment on or add to anything I've said in the video, also add that in the comments down below. If you are new, subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Peace.